Welcome back, Cracked fans. We are here with our national championship winning head coach, Brian Calvis of the UNC Tar Heels. Coach, first of all, congratulations on another fantastic run here at the National Indoors. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. It's very exciting. Yeah, I can only imagine for you. Sixth final in a row for your program, third title in the last six years. What is it about this event, this format, that brings out the best of your program? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say we're an indoor team. Um, I think we're just a competitive team. And uh, but I, I, our team really has great character, and they really they love being around each other. So to you know, this is really the only tournament where you're around each other for you know three to four days in a row. And uh, I tell them at the beginning of the year, uh, the tournaments, uh, th this tournament, because you're around so much and the, and the tournament is so long, it can either make or break your team. And it's always seemed to kind of make our team uh, be be closer and stronger and. They just they love they love just supporting each other and and uh, they relish the, uh, the the camaraderie that they bring out in each other. Yeah, I think you can see that. I had the pleasure of being on court one for these past four days. You guys always playing on our broadcast courts. Had the distinct pleasure of hearing Alexa Graham's unique, we'll say, uh, cheering throughout the time. And you can see this Tar Heel team of yours so closely uh, knit together. Does it help when you have three seniors such as Alexa Graham, Sarah Davitella, McKenna Jones? Not only you know phenomenal senior leaders but phenomenal players uh, leading uh, for as a senior class yeah I mean they're I mean they're our most accomplished trio of, uh, of any uh, in the history of Carolina tennis I mean they all have been uh, all Americans top 10 in the country they've played number one um, and to have them as seniors and what they've done for this program and to be selfless to to know that not all of them can can play you know at the top of the position and you know they're just they're just they they have a team first mentality and they they really they bring out the best uh, in each other and and they're very different personalities and uh, but they all get along so well and and they make our team so great yeah, i mean the talent on your tar heel team evident all weekend long if you don't mind me saying uh, i do want to ask you some fi questions about the final specifically coming into the match the depth ucla has in particular as well the strength of their top three three top 20 players lining up for them up there I uh, felt like doubles point was always going to be crucial, and the way it broke down for your Tar Heel team today, you make a switch in the lineup. Mora and Scott uh, go up to the number two position. Jones and Sanford down to number three. I know, I believe Mora and Scott got a win yesterday. Was it that in particular? What led to that lineup decision before today's match? Well, before yesterday, they'd won three matches in a row, 6-0. Six, oh. They had three shutouts in a row. So uh, for them, they've been playing very clean tennis, and... Um, uh, I just I felt that you know they deserved to to, to play higher and um, we gave them an opportunity and they showed uh, they showed that they were worth it today. Yeah, absolutely, that and some they get the win for you at the number two position. It comes down to Jones and Sanford at three. And uh, for anyone who didn't catch the match, interesting, obviously dramatic finish to stay the least. You guys serve for that set five four three double faults to love 40 gets all the way back to deuce uh and then a double fault for five all your team able to bounce right back get the break mckenna jones serves it out for the seven five set you know what were you telling ali and mckenna in that moment to regain their composure and ultimately how pivotal was it for your team that they were able to serve out that set yeah well at five three we had a match point on no ad um and missed a return and then obviously you know, Allie got a little tight and uh, on her service game, double faulted really the whole whole game around away. But what was really cool about it was they got down 40 love and then they came back and got it to do. So that, that showed the fight that they have. Um, and then five all um, played a great game. Um, at no at point, McKenna came up with a big, big swing and volley um, to, you know, to, to break them. And then, uh, you know, Ali stepped up at the net. Um, McKenna got some great first serves, and they really played purposeful. And um, they got at 40 love, got unlucky with a let court, but they finished strong. And um, after after doubles, I just said, you know, we kind of we knew this is the first time we've been in a situation where the doubles point was down to the last match. So th this it's early in the season, we weren't really kind of used to that kind of pressure. And I think, uh, as I said to him, I think we we blinked, and then um, and then we woke up, and then we uh, you know we got better. And uh, so. Um, you know, in, in singles, it was, um, I think that gave us some momentum going into singles, you know, having to get in that doubles point. Yeah, and you talk about blinking there for your team. It's not their first final. Uh, that senior trio of Davitella, Graham, uh, Jones, they've won a national indoor titles before, so they've been there. What do you tell your team after such an emotional doubles point to try and calm them down and allow them to get refocused? Ultimately, your team taking five first sets. Clearly, whatever you said is working. 
Well, after doubles, um, again, we, you know, we, uh, we talked about how, how we did, uh, again, we blinked, and then we, we regrouped. And, um, and I told them how this was the first time that we'd been out there, you know, with the, the match on the line. And I wanted them to kind of realize that each person out there, the, all six matches, have to kind of have that feeling that their, their match is going to be the last, last one out there. And um, what was really cool was that, um, you know, at uh, one and two singles, we got down early, and they just battled back and won some incredible first sets. Sarah's down set point at 5-4, no add, and she came up with a shoestring shoe forehand. Yeah, like forehand. Gorgeous. It was just an amazing uh, shot. And, and just the energy, Alexa, just the energy, you know, being down 4-2 in the tiebreaker and then coming back and winning four straight points, uh, five straight points. So, I mean, just they didn't give they, – they, they ha we have so much respect for UCLA and, and their fight. You know, and um, but then Cam came back and um, and got you know up four zero immediately after losing the first set. So anytime there was any momentum going against us, we we righted the ship very quickly. Mm -hmm. And last question about this final in particular, uh, McKenna Jones, the senior for you guys, I believe she reached number one in the country last year. Was playing one singles, justifiably, which is crazy. It may sound crazy. It, it feels crazy to college tennis fans out there uh, playing five singles for your lineup right now. For her to go out after what happened in double serve for that set and captured seven five, then come out six love first set right on the board, first point on the team for you guys in singles. Can you talk a little bit about her performance and what she meant to your team today? Just so proud of her. I mean, she she uh, really struggled in the fall, only played two matches, you know, had, you know, a couple injuries, and just um, didn't just didn't have the fall she wanted to, uh, you know, enter, in going, entering her senior year. And she was, you know, starting the spring season, she didn't have a lot of confidence. She, you know, again, didn't have the matches under her. So now you could see yesterday against Duke, she played amazing against you know a top 20 player in the nation and, and put a point on the board for us, clinch the match for us. So, uh, and today, um, you know, really, it really held it together in the doubles, um, you know, played some amazing tennis and uh, in singles. She, you could tell now she's starting to, to get her mojo back and her confidence back and her, her game is following along. along and it's, it's just wonderful to see her um, kind of lead our team um, with that first point on the board today, which is, you know, much needed. When you win the doubles point, <laughs> you want to get, you know, again, reestablish momentum, and she helped us do that. Now, without question, I believe she won yesterday for you guys against Duke, and you get this national indoor title here. That's phenomenal, but I believe there were six ACC teams uh, from your conference at this event. That speaks to the depth right now, the strength of your conference you know, this title going to do wonders for, again, that word confidence for your team. But you look right now heading into the ACC portion of the year, every conference play coming up. How do you feel about your Tar Heel program? How do you feel this this title uh, prepares you for that 2020 grind? Well, um, again, I think um, it, it gives us the confidence that, you know, we could be one of the better teams, uh, you know, towards the end of the year. But we still have a lot more growth in this in this team, and and you know we have um, you know just uh, you know our, our, our the six girls that played this this tournament are are obviously you know very exhausted from having four days in a row. But um, you know we have a very deep team. We have other players that are you know are very very uh, talented that are ready to step in. So um, hopefully we can stay healthy. We can get, keep getting better. Um, I don't think I, I'm really proud of what we accomplished here. Um, but I think our team is, has the ability to improve even more. So I, I'm, I'm excited uh, to go through the, the ACC gauntlet and, uh, and see what we can do. I think that's why so many around the country are excited to watch your program this season. It's not just the obvious talent. I think it's three, four top ten players uh, when everyone's healthy. But you, know, you guys have accomplished so much over the past couple of years. Uh, again, not to get into expectations in the last two questions. I know you want to go celebrate. Um, but for your team now, you get this win. You, you get looks at UCLA, at Duke, some of the top teams in the country. Uh, what does that do for your expectations in the season? You always were knew you were going to bring back a talented roster, but does a result like this change your trajectory at all, or does it just stay the course? No, we, it doesn't change at all. I mean, we're um, we're really focused on on um, just enjoying the process, taking it one match at a time. This, you know, we, um, you know, even the first round of this tournament, um, you know, Arizona State gave us a battle, and we, you know, we were, um, you know, we kind of had to get our, our feet wet, so to speak. So. Um, I mean, we're you know we, we got we got pushed in kickoff and um, and uh, so um, 
we got pushed against Michigan. We got pushed against Vandy. So we're, you know, there's a lot of really good teams out there, and our conference is really strong. Um, so we're, um, you know, we're just we're we're excited. We're you know we're motivated. You know, this is going to give us confidence. But um, you know, we're uh, you know we this team loves to compete, and I just they're just I'm excited for them to just you know for the next opportunity for us to do that. I think that was the takeaway for us in the broadcast booth, how well your team competed all weekend long. Last question for you. I mentioned at the top, six straight finals. So you've made this Monday night flight now six years in a row. How does it differ from when you win this finals match from when you lose it? Yeah. <laughs> Keep it PG, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Last year, <laughs> last year was, was tough. Um, uh, we won the doubles point against Georgia, and it came down to the last match. Um, ultimately, it was, uh, it was McKenna against Jokic. And... Um, um, she was up 5-2 in the third and um, had a match point. And, um, you know, she takes an injury timeout. And the m momentum kind of changed a little bit. Um, but um, give them credit. You know, Georgia Georgia really basically out-competed us um, ultimately in that match. And, um, you know, I, and it made us better, made us better. And uh, we ultimately didn't lose again until the NCAA uh, semifinals. So, um, you know, there – you know, there's a lot of takeaways when you, you know, when you, uh, when you lose for sure. Um, but we're hopefully going to take, you know, some takeaways here when we, when we did win this. So, um, but the flight home um, is, is going to be great. Uh, we, um, t well, we won this twice at UVA, so it was a ride home. So uh, <laughs> that was, that was nice. But um, we did win um, in Wisconsin and that was a, you know, just a joyous flight. Uh, but um, we've um, we've been in some really good battles, and this 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 match is 4-0 on the scoreboard. But as you as you know, it was it was much closer <laughs> than that. So, but we're very very fortunate to uh, to come away with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. At the very least, I don't know if you're a sleeper on a plane, but you can rest easy yeah. tonight, knowing your Tar Heels performed so well all week long. Coach Brian Calvis, thank you. Good luck to you throughout the rest of the season as well. Thanks, Alex.